Welcome back to Second Rate Gamer News. I'm your Second Rate Gamer, and with its re-release on PC and consoles earlier this month, I couldn't resist getting a copy for myself and trying Quake for the very first time. As I played, I was struck with nostalgia, frustration, and an admiration for the developers that blazed the trail for this FPS genre I love today. As soon as I opened the game, I was transported back to playing on my grandparents' computer as a kid. I vividly remember visiting them and playing the mind-blowing game that was Hover, the 3D Capture the Flag game that came on all Windows 95 computers. Quake brings a more polished 3D style that was revolutionary in its day with a monster hunter slash puzzle solving game mode. In the opening selection area you can choose from four different difficulty sections, from easy to nightmare. I didn't even know about the nightmare mode until I read that it was apparently so difficult that the developers hid the entrance to avoid players accidentally choosing it. Playing it today is enjoyable enough. You play a character in a secret base with the goal of killing a monster called Quake. There are a variety of weapons to use as you fight your way through the monsters around the compound. Find secret areas, solve some light puzzles, and make sure you keep your armor and health in good shape because even the normal mode can deal out its share of death, sending you right back to the beginning of the level. The movement was almost too fast for me to keep up with, and it's very smooth. It can take some getting used to, but once you have it down, it can be very satisfying blowing up monsters and watching the dated graphics show the blood and gore that was explicit in 1996, but pretty tame by today's standards. If you're looking for a blast from the past, or if you're like me and have never tried Quake, I recommend giving it a shot. Do it to experience gaming in 1996. Play alone or multiplayer, and even try your hand at speedrunning. Drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more gaming news and reviews. Ah!